What's up, College Station? I'm Grace Hollowell, and today I'm joined with Mr. David Simmons from the College Station Police Department. Hi, David. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well. We are a few days out from Christmas now. Yes, we are. Um, and one of my favorite movies is Home Alone. Oh, um, great movie. Kevin McAllister. It's oh, yeah. great. But along with Home Alone, burglaries can happen. Um, yes. It's not just in the movies. It's not just made up. Um, the wet bandits, so to speak, can happen in real life, too. Absolutely. Um, so you're here to tell us some tips to keep um, our families and our homes safe um, during the holiday season. I know the college kids are on their way out or on their way home for break. Um, so you're here to help keep us all safe. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Um, what we, we definitely see, like with definitely with the college kids, um, kind of our student living areas, um, especially the barracks, um, and then kind of that historic district as well. Uh, we do see a lot of burglaries where it's, um, you know, when residents will unfortunately leave their doors unlocked or it's forced entry. Um, so please be mindful, um, you know, if you have the opportunity, get yourself some sort of security camera, security device, something uh, on the doors, um, as well as just lock your doors, please. Um, if you're leaving a vehicle, uh, don't leave the keys in it. Um, don't leave the keys anywhere where they could really find it. Uh, things like that, so. Right, and that's a good point. No, don't just lock your house, lock your vehicles, too. Absolutely, um, yeah. We're having a lot of uh, um, vehicle thefts, so people stealing cars because of uh, the majority is keys being left inside. Um, the way that technology is and these new cars are, um, you can just basically leave your key in there. You can punch a code in or you can, I think you can remote access, you know, from your phone or something like that. Um, so please take your keys. Don't be a victim. It's the best thing that we can say. <laughs> right. And make sure those doors are locked. I know I had a friend who had left his laptop in the car mm -hmm. um, and he left his car unlocked and I was like, why did you do that? And he said, right. well, I didn't want them breaking my window. But yeah. nowadays, um, criminals are, are getting a little smarter and they're realizing they can just check those door handles rather than make a scene and smash Correct. the window. So. Yeah. Well, and, and, and we, we definitely push it on our social media mm -hmm. um, is to hashtag lock, take, hide. Yes. It's lock your cars, take your valuables or hide your valuables. Um, if you happen to have to be in a situation where you, you know, you need to leave your, your laptop or um, something along those lines, keep a log of, of your serial number just in case there is forced entry or you might have forgotten um, because that's the best way that we're going to be able to catch these people. Majority of the time, those items will get brought to a pawn shop or get sold on, you know, Facebook Marketplace or things like that. Um, and we can put it into a national database. So if, if something with a serial number that's been reported stolen uh, comes up, then boom, now we can, our detectives can start asking questions. Right. Um, and then another helpful tip, um, people are going to be celebrating a lot for the holidays with Christmas and with New Year's. Yes. Um, so let's talk a little bit about of some traffic safety um, while we're celebrating, right. having a good time. There is a way to do it safely. Yes, yes there is. So uh, I think the, the main thing that we can talk about is um, um, with the holidays comes celebration. Celebration, a lot of people like to drink alcohol, um, but please be smart about drinking alcohol. Do not get behind the wheel of a car. Um, find a designated driver or get an Uber. There's going to be Ubers that are going to be out and about. Um, I think, and I was just talking to you earlier about this, but just uh, this weekend alone, we had 90 DWIs wow. in one night, right? And that's just in College Station. And I, it's kind of scary to think about how many others we weren't able to find uh, that night. It's not worth it. No. Um, it is not worth getting behind the wheel of these cars. Um, you know, if you're with your family and you've had a couple, couple drinks, a couple eggnogs or something like that, and you've got your, your kids in the car, it's a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. So please be safe. Um, fireworks as well. We see a lot of fireworks start popping up this time of year because New Year's just around the corner as well. Um, fireworks are illegal in the city of College Station. If you pop fireworks inside the city limits and we find out who you are, uh, we will write you a ticket, okay? Uh, if you continue to do that, then we will continue writing tickets. Or if you don't learn your lesson, sorry, you get to go to jail. <laughs> so 
Yes. And if um, other residents um, are seeing some sp suspicious behavior, um, how can they report that? Or what do they do if they see something suspicious and they think they need to call you guys but not necessarily call 911? What do they do? Right. So the best thing to do is call our non-emergency line. That's 979-764-3600. Um, what I've, I've been seeing, because I handle our social media as well, people will start reaching out on social media. Now, I have my phone on me consistently, but I'm the only one that mans that. And sometimes I'm just not in a position, you know, if, and there are some certain situations where an officer needs to go out to these situ or this thing that they are reporting to our social media, whether that be Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, um, please call that number. Let our dispatchers know because we would rather it be nothing and have officers show up than it be something and now it's a big deal. Right. So. And a good rule of thumb too, if you're not sure whether or not to call 911, um, you, your dispatchers, they'll never, you know, reprimand you for calling 911 if you think it's an emergency. Absolutely. Um, yeah. On the other hand, if you, they left the pickles off of your hamburger at Whataburger, that's not again, an emergency. Not yeah. a situation <laughs> where you would want to call 911. Correct. Correct. Okay. Well, is there anything else you can share with us about being safe during the holidays? Nope. Just everybody have a Merry Christmas. Be safe. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. Absolutely. And that's what's up.